What's up guys, Cody here back with a new review. The newest review I'll be doing is the Belco Experiment. <clears throat> um, this is going to be a pretty short review just because the movie failed, <clears throat> in my opinion. Now, this isn't really going to be spoilers, it might be. I'm just going to kind of talk about it. if it leads into spoilers, whatever. Because in my opinion, don't waste your time to go to see this movie. It's not worth it. Might be a good Redbox movie, but as far as going to theaters, no. Um, we'll go ahead and start out. I mean, everyone knows, basically, or should know what it's about. If not, I mean, it's about this company called the Belco. I think it's just Belco Industries. And it's in the middle of nowhere in Colombia, I do believe. Um, and basically what ends up happening is the government's doing a social experiment on these people. Locking all the doors. Um, and telling them, you know, every so many hours they got to kill so many people. Or double that number is basically going to die. Um, and I do want to point out right now, I do like James Gunn. Guardians of the Galaxy, I think he did Slither, I think, I can't remember. Um, oh, well, well moved. I liked, of course, Guardians of the Galaxy I loved. Um, so when I heard he was doing this, I was excited. I thought it might be good. And then the concept, the concept of it, I thought, is really good. Um, you know, kind of a diff an interesting concept that we haven't really seen before, I feel like. Um... You know, because the movie is basically, you know, how far will you go to survive? Um, are you going to be, you know, do what you know you should do, you know, and not kill people? Or are you just going to, you know, uh, let's see, hold on me. I'm going to close this out and we're just going to talk now. Um, you know, are you going to kill to survive? Or are you going to try to figure out a better way to do it? Um, it's basically what this movie ended up being. And like I said, it seemed like a good concept. It really did. It seemed like a great concept. But it just failed in so many ways. And I feel like that is because they took the easy way out on a lot of this. Because basically what this movie ended up being, um, they put these little chips in the back of all the workers' necks, supposedly just to keep track of them if they ever get kidnapped or anything, because it's in Colombia, and I guess you know they're worried they get kidnapped very easily. Um, well, then it turns out these, these uh, chips in their necks... They have them set to explode on command. Um, so basically, if you don't kill so many people, they're going to kill double that number by making those detonate in their necks. Um, so basically, all this ended up being was to see how many it seemed like to see how many heads they could explode in this movie, because they did do that. There was probably a couple dozen of people, maybe like thirty or forty people, that just got their head exploded. So it kind of turned out to be a movie that just is based on gore. Which I am fine with. I like gory movies. But I like it to be interesting and different. Like, there were so many creative ways they could have had some of these people die. More than just their head blowing up. Um, you know, because like I said, for the most part, besides the few people that uh, got killed from other people, um, everyone else, their head just exploded. I mean, there was a couple creative scenes. Like, at one point during the end, someone dies by... they Someone gets the um, a tape holder like the thing you pull up the tape with it's metal and bash them in the head with that creative you know that's that's all right um but most of it like i said was just kind of drawn out and boring you kind of expected what was going to happen the entire movie um one thing that seemed dumb but it, it was it made a little bit more sense made it more i guess you weren't expecting it is there was one person in this movie a uh, new worker and it focuses on her quite a bit um, during all this, she's hiding, and at one point she actually helps them. Um, but they focus a lot on her, so you kind of think maybe she's going to be the lone survivor because she's hiding and all this stuff. Well, then she just dies, right? Like, she just gets shot in the head. Um, so, I guess they, you know, everyone's expecting her to live, and they do that. So, I mean, they were trying something different there. Um, but basically, it just turned out to be, you know, nothing but a normal gory horror movie. Of just you know as much blood and carnage they can you can handle. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm fine with sometimes, but it's nice to see some new like um, the Get Out movie that was super creative, something no one's ever thought of. And this movie, like I said, it was creative. The pitch, the idea of it was creative. It just failed when they how they did it. Some of the scenes they decided to do was just pointless and drug out, and um, they set up so much for a sequel. Like the way I'm not really gonna go into too much detail with the movie. Like I said, I probably won't do too many spoilers except what I already said. Um, but they set up for a spoiler so much. They're not spoiler. They they set up for a sequel so much. So I'm assuming there'll be a sequel. I don't know because I don't know. I don't think this movie did too well in box office. 
Um, I mean, it's only been out a couple days, but still. So I don't think this will get a sequel because of the budget issue, but they did set up for a sequel. So, um, like I said, I wouldn't waste the money to go to theaters and watching it. Um, it'd probably be a good Redbox rental. And like I said, it really sucks because I love James Gunn and the movies he's done and all that stuff, but it just, it fell apart. You know, started off strong with the idea of it and stuff like that and the concept, but then it just fell short whenever they started writing or directing it. And uh, the cinematography was just horrible, in my opinion. The music, most of it was um, Spanish music, which I don't care about. It's just I'm not really going to get in a movie when I don't even know what the lyrics are, what the song is or anything. Um, so like I said, I wouldn't waste my money. If you want to go see it with some friends, go for it. You know, you might like it, but I personally did not. Um, so I am going to give this movie a pretty low rating because of the fact of, like I said, the story was solid. That's really where I'm getting, um, it's getting a better rating than I feel like it should because it did have a good concept. It just failed. Um, the acting was fine. I, I mean, some of the people were pointless. Some of them was all right actors. Um, but just because I do like the concept of the movie and I felt like it could have had so much more potential, I am going to give this movie a four out of 10, um, which I mean, like it's just a little bit below average. Um, but like I said, then that's all that has nothing to do with the movie itself for getting that rating. Um, for the movie itself, I'd probably go down to like a two or something, but because I did like the concept of it, I'm going to give it a little bit higher a four. So they might make a sequel. Maybe they'll realize the mistakes they made and fix it later on. I don't know. Um, but this going to be, that's going to be the end of it guys. There's not going to be any spoiler section in this video. There's not really much point in this movie to have a spoiler section. Um, so just go watch if you want to, but like I said, I wouldn't waste the money on it. Hope you guys have a great day. If you like this video, drop a like. I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you guys later.